Hi, my name is JL Ray, and uh, it is my pleasure to read for you today. My name is Celia, The Life of Celia Cruz, written by Monica Brown and illustrated by Rafael Lopez. And I'm, we're going to start with a definition. Anytime I say azúcar, the word means sugar, but it means much more than that. It's about flavor, it's about life, it's about spirit. It's about music. So whenever you hear me say azúcar, that's what's going on. Feel free to practice and say it along with me. Azúcar. My voice is strong, smooth, and sweet. I will make you feel like dancing. Close your eyes and listen. My voice feels like feet skipping on cold, wet sand like running under a waterfall, like rolling down a hill. My voice climbs and rocks and dips and flips with the sounds of gongas beating and trumpets blaring. Boom, 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 beat the congas. Clap, 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 go the hands. Shake, 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 go the hips. I am the queen of salsa, and I invite you to come dance with me. In your eyes. My costumes are as colorful as my music, with ruffles, beads, sparkles, and feathers. They shimmer and shake as I move my graceful arms and legs to the beat of the tropics and the rhythm of my heart. In my mind, I carry the place that I am from and the places that I have been. When I sing, memories of my childhood come back to me, spilling into my songs. I was born in Cuba an island in the middle of the Caribbean Sea. My Cuba was the city of Havana. Our family had a warm kitchen filled with the voices of women and men, grandparents, brothers, sisters, cousins, and friends. We ate rice, beans, and bananas, you know them as plantains, and filled our bellies with love and warm coffee with milk. Warm coffee, in Tampa we say cafe con leche. And lots and lots of Azúcar. In the evenings, I would help my mother put the younger children to sleep by singing them soothing, sweet lullabies. My father worked long and hard on the railroad, but loved coming home to us each day. He would sit in the backyard and sing with us. He gave us the gift of his music and filled our hearts with hope. Sometimes when I would sing with my father, the neighbors would hear the sound of my voice and walk over to listen to my melodies. We may have been poor, but music cost nothing and brought joy to us all. My papa wanted me to become a school teacher, such an important job. At school, I learned and grew. I studied history and art, mathematics and science, and even music. I did well in school and I loved to sing. When I sang, my body would fill with the rhythms of Africa and the mix of the Spanish sounds of my Cuban mother tongue. Finally, one of my favorite teachers took my two hands and said, go out into the world and sing, my child. You will be known across the land. Your voice is a gift from above and must ring sweet in the ears of our people. My cousin, Nanita, and I would travel far on the bus so I could have a chance to sing in competitions. Even though some people would not let me sing in their contests because of the color of my skin, I did not let this stop me from making my voice heard. I promised myself that I would keep singing and studying no matter what. I was still a young woman when a revolution began in my country. Like many others, I left Cuba forever. First I traveled to Mexico. Then I traveled to the United States with my husband, the trumpeter Pedro Knight, and our musical group, Sonora Matancera. New York, my new home with the lights and people, a blend of many cultures and traditions. From my window, I saw the lights and heard the music. And I was the light and the music. Though I left my island and became a citizen of the United States, I carried my people in my heart. 
My songs were a gift to all those Cubans who left their island and all the children of the Americas. Boom, boom, boom! The sounds of the congas and the trumpets returned to me. Miami, my home away from home. One day in a restaurant, the young waiter asked me if I wanted sugar in my coffee. Azucar, I said. How could he even ask? I am Cuban. Yes, with azucar. And when I sipped the milky sweetness, I was back in my mother's kitchen with my friends and family. From that point on, when I walked out on stage, I would simply say, azucar. And they would know exactly what I meant. Home and love and lots of kisses. The audience would bring their hands together and welcome me. I sang with my friends Tito and Johnny and Willie, and people loved our music. Together we brought a new music to the Americas, salsa, a music that blended rock with rumba, mambo with jazz. I'm gonna do that again because I had a burp in there, and I don't know if you heard it. <laughs> I sang with my friends Tito and Johnny and Willie, and people loved our music. Together we brought a new music to the Americas, salsa. A music that blended rock with rumba, mambo with jazz. People loved to dance and swing to our music. Shake, shake, shake went their hips as they laughed and danced. Teachers and presidents honored me and all because my songs sounded like the waves of the ocean hitting the roof of my mouth, like the streets of Havana, like my mother's kitchen, like a tummy full of beans and plantains and rice, like a cup of warm coffee with sugar. Ah, so God. They named me the Queen of Salsa, and I wore that crown proudly. I crossed borders and broke boundaries because I was a survivor. And no one ever stopped me from singing ever again. My records turned to gold and silver and streets and stars were given my name. Boom, 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 beat the congas. Clap, 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 go the hands. Shake, 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 go the hips, the shoulders too. When we sing together, our words are like smiles flying across the sky. Come dance with me now, my friends, to the beat of the drums and the sound of the trumpets and the tropics. Even when I am gone, my music will live on. Ah, so God!